What's up everyone, Carter Maxwell here, and in this video I'll be reviewing a storefront on Amazon that is easily doing over $100,000 in sales a month selling seasonal products. I'll be going over, you know, kind of the pros and the cons to selling seasonal products, as well as giving you a better, you know, explanation of what a seasonal product is and how you can make money on Amazon selling seasonal products. So let's go ahead and check out the storefront. So as you can see already, here's a storefront right here. Here's one of their products. And they have around, I'd say, 20 products or so under this brand. Now I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna pull down my Jungle Scout Chrome extension. And as you can see, I mean, they're doing some really, really good numbers. I mean, the, their first listing right off the bat is doing over 130K in revenue a month. Um, I mean, all these are doing almost five figures a month in revenue, uh, except for this one right here. I mean, I'll sort it by revenue. Now, the title of this video was, mate, was doing $100,000. Um, I have no idea what this company's margins are. I mean, I'd say anywhere from probably 20 to 40% if I were guessing, could be a little bit less. But this is what a seasonal, like a seasonal business looks like. I mean, there's obviously they're selling pool floaties, as you can see, everything is pool floaters or pool floaty related or something that has to do with the pool. And I mean, those items are going to sell obviously within the summer months, you know, that May, June, July, August, maybe a little bit of September and sales are just absolutely going to skyrocket. Everything's going to be selling well. Everyone's looking to you know, buy pool floaties for parties and for the children and everything. And it's just a really great item to sell. So back to the Chrome extension and back to seasonal products. I mean, Seasonal products are a great way to, you know, take advantage and just like ride the wave, ride the wave during, um, you know, those trendy months. And then as the months start to die off, you kind of want to, you know, sell out of most of your product. Now, the big thing about seasonal products is a lot of people don't actually get into seasonal products for mainly two reasons. Um, one, they don't prepare ahead of time. The people that are making the really big money are the ones that are preparing in the winter to sell summer products so the ones that are already ordering already having them in stock so that right when it starts to hit that tipping point to summer they already have listings up they're already starting to get reviews you know sales running ppc so that when it starts you know getting to its peak time in the middle of you know june and july their listings are already there most people mainly the new sellers or the newbies will be seeing you know on jungle sky like hey like these pool floaters are doing really good and they're seeing these results like in the middle of june they say, hey, I'm going to order it. By the time they get it, it's already mid-July. And these listings that have already um, come ahead and already have sales history, already have sales volume, they're going to be able to, you know, rank and sell a lot better than that new seller who, who's coming in, you know, late during the season to sell that seasonal product. So some of the advantages of selling seasonal products is that during, you know, peak time, during peak months, you're going to receive a huge spike in sales. It's not just going to be like a regular spike. It's going to be like a huge spike because that product is in season. People are looking to purchase that product. You know, if you're running hard advertising for different search terms, you're going to be able to rank your product pretty quickly. And also there's going to be a lot less competition personally, I think when it comes to seasonal items, because I mean, you hear to the Amazon people that talk on YouTube and things like that. They recommend you stay away from seasonal products so that you just be smart about it. And I feel like that for, at least new sellers just kind of scares me like what about if i want to sell this product in the summer and the winter you know they're kind of going towards products they're going to sell year round so i personally think that there's probably less competition um, when it comes to selling seasonal products now another big advantage to selling seasonal products is that most companies are quantity over quality what i mean by that is when it comes to their listing they're honestly not that good i mean the pictures the pictures are decent they could use some help like when it comes to something like, you know, the title looks decent here, but you know, you go to, I mean, the bullet points and there's like barely a sentence for each bullet point. You come down to the description, they've got some pictures, but it's not very descriptive. It's not always really showing like the benefits. I mean, they're showing on this list and they're showing pictures of all these other items that they're selling. This could be in their storefront as well, but you need to be selling this product that you have on the listing. And I think that if you were to just come into the market, you know, get a product similar to this and just optimize your listing, which I talked about in a video not too long ago, is to just, you know, make a good title, get professional pictures done, get a really descriptive, you know, bullet points and description that go over like 
the benefits and the features of that product. You're going to be able to, you know, outsell your competition, even if you don't have that many reviews or, you know, if you're a smaller seller, that doesn't matter. If you take the time, you know, upfront to build, you know, a, a stronger and just more descriptive listing, you're going to be able to outsell your competition that are going for the, you know, quantity over quality. They have, you know, 20, 30 listings, but they're not really focusing on each individual listing. They're just trying to add new ones and just leaving these ones off kind of in the dust with just minimal work. Now, a disadvantage to selling seasonal products is that they're not obviously going to sell year round. They're going to sell during the peak times of the months for that season of the product. Now, that leaves you a seller needing to have a game plan and exit strategy for when the peak times, when that season is starting to die off. Because the last thing you want is to keep restocking your inventory and then sales just start to like decline. If you keep adding inventory, I mean, you're going to get stuck with a ton of leftover inventory, you know, obviously for this product, if you're starting to place orders in, you know, August, September, I mean, that's a little bit risky because after September, it starts to get a little bit colder. And if you keep placing large orders, you're going to have a ton of excess units sitting at the Amazon warehouse, you know, picking up excess fees, you know, you've got a lot of inventory, you know, you've got a lot of expenses, you know, wrapped up in that inventory that you could be using on other products or other things related to your business, but it's just sitting in the warehouse because you decided to, you know, place too large of an order kind of on the end near that product. And that's something big. Same thing goes for you need to have these products ready to sell early on uh, within that season as well. So you can kind of get a head start of your competition, you know, start getting um, sales, you know, for different search terms for that product. So that's definitely one of the bigger advantages to selling seasonal products. Now, I personally have sold trendy products before. I've yet to sell a fully seasonal product, but I mean, the same kind of method, the same kind of strategy goes for, you know, you want to hop in to that trendy product or into that seasonal product. You want to you want to ride the wave during the season, but then you want to make sure you have a proper exit strategy. For instance, the trendy product that I was selling, um, kind of a big reason I made this video is to like let people know that you can make a ton of money, you know, with trendy products and seasonal products because i mean the sales are just going to be there everybody's looking to purchase that item it's just really easy to create sales but one of the dangerous things about selling you know seasonal products trendy products is i i feel like the end of the season the end of the season especially if you're a new seller you know this is your first time to sell um a seasonal related product where it's only peaking during certain months is um people don't really know their proper exit strategy which i just mentioned like a minute ago and they just start placing large orders and all of a sudden their product listing dies off because no one's wanting to buy pool floats anymore or whatever seasonal item it is because, you know, it's getting too cold or it's starting to rain or storm. And people are losing a lot of money on the back end. When I was selling my trendy product, I mean, it was selling like crazy for, I'd say, I'd say two or three months. And I kept placing bigger orders and bigger orders and I placed the biggest order of all time. And then all of a sudden there's, you know, too much competition and then the trend was starting to die off and I ended up losing quite a bit of money on the back end of that product. So I just want to like let you guys know that you can make a lot of money, you know, during the peak months, during the peak time, selling seasonal or trendy products. You just need to make sure you have the proper exit strategy. I mean, if I go ahead and I pull down the Jungle Scout Chrome extension again, I mean, you can see if I sort it by revenue, I mean, one listing is 130K a month, 90K a month. 57,000, 54,000, 30,000. I mean, the list goes on and on all the way down. I mean, they're doing really good numbers. I mean, it's it's still early June right now. I could see these numbers going throughout June, throughout July, and throughout August, maybe kind of the earlier parts of September. So, I mean, easily this business model right here is probably doing, I'd say, over, you know, over that, that seasonal time, probably anywhere from 700,000 to... 900,000 maybe pushing a million dollars in sales through their 20 products. Now I have no idea like what their margins are, what their profit margins are, but I can tell you that this business is profitable if you understand how it works. You understand that you need to prepare ahead of time. You can't start preparing during that season. You need to prepare in the season before, and then you also as well need to have a proper exit strategy to be able to sell out of um, majority or the main portion of your inventory before you know the season starts to die off so you don't get hit with a bunch of excess inventory sitting in their warehouses you know picking up excess fba fees so that's it for this video on kind of giving an overview of the storefront that's selling um seasonal products if you enjoyed this video you know comment below with any questions that you might have or any video ideas um you'd like me to make in the future 
Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. I mean, I'm always putting out new videos. I'm trying to put out as many videos as I can this summer because, uh, you know, it's summer. I don't have school for eight hours a day, so I have a lot more free time. So, I mean, if you want to keep getting really, you know, cool informational videos like this around, you know, Amazon FBA, selling on Amazon, or even other platforms. I mean, I'm making some eBay videos in there, Merch by Amazon, um, and some other great videos as well. So if you are interested in that, make sure you like and subscribe. And on that note, I'll see you guys next video.